What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we are here with the Rock Hobby Fire Horse. So I got home from work today and this guy was hanging out outside my door. So I figured, let me make a video of it. <laughs> I didn't order this guy. It just showed up. So here it is. So let's open her up and see what this guy looks like. And here we are, you guys. So in the box, in the styrofoam casing, you get your Rock Hobby FMS controller with your switches there. You get your charger and T-wrench. And of course, you get this guy. You also get the manual. Uh, I don't even know where I put it. I already took it out of the box. I don't know where I put the manual. All right, so the controller is the typical controller FMS sends out, used to send out. Now they switched it up to the new, now they switched it up to the new controllers like this one here that I have for the K5 Blazer. You can see the difference on them. But I kind of do like the new one. I do like the new one for the fact that it does have the styrofoam. This one does not. And so guys, here it is. The Rock Hobby Fire Horse. So I have been seeing this guy around for a while now. And I was actually going to order one. But I didn't order this guy. So FMS Rock Hobby, thank you very much for sending this guy out my way. And thank you. I didn't order it. Thanks very much. Uh, so yeah, so it's a 118 scale. This guy, if I'm not mistaken, everything under here is completely different from the FCX24. Yeah, the chassis is completely different. Everything, everything is completely different. So you can't even really say you can't even say that this guy is com is the same as the FCX24. It is not. The FCX24 is a completely whole new chassis. Uh, what I believe this guy is, is the Rock Hobby Patriot that they used to have. So this guy isn't even comparable it's not the same as the fcx24 everything underneath is completely different the fcx24 is a completely new chassis new everything from fms um, and it's a heck of a runner thing drives awesome once you put especially once you put the uh all the brass weights and everything on it this thing performs absolutely beautiful but while we're here let me show you guys this all right so this guy as you guys can see has full interior here are the front seats there you have your steering wheel you got rear seats here you got your whole trunk area You got a full full size spare tire, usable spare tire, unlike the TRX4M where it's just a hollow plastic round thingy. Uh, you got hard plastic, hard plastic uh, bumper. This is all hard plastic, guys. The suspension, friction, friction shocks. I wonder, I really do wonder if I can change those out I'm pretty sure I'm wondering if I could change those shocks out with those shocks that are able to be oil filled and put them on this guy and see how this guy runs but all in all I do like this guy I do like this this body I like the front grille 
it has like the evil eye looking front grill. I forget what the Jeep guys call that, but that looks absolutely, I like it. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna take it out onto the mini course, which I have updated by the way. I have updated the mini course out there, the mini crawl course. And slowly I am adding more and more and more to that crawl course and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, Cause I sure am. I haven't used it yet. This guy's gonna be the first one to go out there and run on it. So let's go out, give it a run and see how it does. Let's go. All right, you guys. So we just had a huge, huge rainstorm just come by and my course is all wet here let me show you guys so this is the newly updated course that I did that I have as you can see now there is a starting point right over here or there's a starting point right here so either or you can start here or you can start right here as you guys can see I'm still in the process of this is still a work in progress here guys so with the newly updated somewhat updated course we're gonna take the fire horse over this and we're gonna see how it is going to do the one thing that I didn't mention inside is your battery for this guy as she gets tucked in right back there you have your on off switch right in there that you pull out Turn on the truck and just stuff it right back in there like that. Close the hood and you're all good to go. So let me get this guy ready and we're going to start off over here and see how this thing performs. Let's go. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can have a doubt, know what I'm about, have your fucking cloud. If you're raining now, I keep making sound, go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now.
Thoughts in my mind, reckless Thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up, I'm breathless Anxiety is infectious I feel so defenseless Betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open I hate being broken I feel like an ocean Filled up with emotion Anger in a potion Rubbing on like lotion I can feel it soaking Reopen the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go All right, you guys, so I must say this thing did not do too bad. I mean, I had that one rollover right there, but did not do too bad. Again, like I said, this course is a still is still a work in progress. I'm still updating it and adding to it and everything. Um, let me know down in the comment section what you guys would like to see. I do have an idea. I do have some certain ideas of what I want to do with this. For instance, if you look right along where that is going, right along there, right along there, I have an idea if you guys might know what I'm talking about. So I have an idea of what I'm going to do, do what I'm going to do there. Uh, it's just getting the time to do it uh, again all these rocks and everything I was able to scour and get without any hesitation and without any issues so so far I think that the course is looking pretty good and so far this rock hobby fire horse is not doing too bad for a top heavy rig like this again th it, this is full interior and I don't think you guys noticed but check this out what I did So yeah, I added a driver in there before I brought this guy out. And I gotta say, this thing performs pretty, pretty well. Not too bad. Uh, you don't really hear much of the motor or ESC as this thing is going. And um, I think this could be a pretty decent competitor if there was some more low end weight on this thing. But all in all, this thing is not doing too bad. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed in the video, but one of my left turn signal is actually in the wrong area. I kind of did that by accident. I put that in the bumper thinking that it was the bumper light, but it turns out it was, it was the turn signal, the left turn signal when I went to put the guy in there. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's my fault. So I have to change that. The body is not that easy to come off. Uh, this thing should be very, very, very easy to upgrade. Uh, I believe there's a whole bunch of people out there that have done upgrades with this thing. So I'm going to give this thing another run and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy. Have a good one, guys.